Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly vlog. As you can see, I am back home from Bali. I'm honestly so happy to be in my flat. Like honestly, I had the best time traveling. It was the most amazing month, but I just love being at home. I love my flat, I love just my house. I just love being here and I'm just so happy to be back doing like another weekly vlog just back in Manchester. It is Monday today, so it's the start of a brand new week. I landed back from Bali yesterday morning and yesterday I was fighting for my life with jet lag. Honestly, I landed back at 7 a.m. So I was like, I need to stay awake the entire day. And I went to Byron's, we did a food shop. We were just chilling and catching up with everyone. And then I think about like six o'clock hit and we passed out on the sofa for like three hours. I said to Callum, wake me up for Love Island. He woke me up and I was like, I literally can't do it. I need to go home immediately. I was so tired, but now I feel like because I've slept through the entire night, I think I'm gonna be fine. Touch wood. Hopefully it doesn't get to like four o'clock again. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm knackered but fingers crossed I've fought off the jet lag. This week my to-do list is just growing and growing and growing so I thought it'd be a nice time to start a new weekly vlog where I can show you what kind of like a working week looks like after a trip because it's a lot of work. I've got a lot of really exciting brand work that I've got to do this week and I've got to prep for a week in London next week because I'm hosting something very exciting. So yeah it's a lot this week but I'm excited for it and I just thought why not bring you guys along because I know that you love the weekly vlog of me at home. I already spent this morning filming a main channel video that is already going to be up. It was like a Bali Q&A and now I'm going to make myself some lunch and then I've got a ton of parcels to open. I came back to honestly about 30 parcels in my office that Cal kindly bought up for me and left in my office so I didn't have to go downstairs and get them. So I'm going to make my way through some of those and then I need to just start on some worky bits. So you're going to come with me. Let's spend the week working and just settling back into life in Manchester. Obviously, because I've been away, I thought that HelloFresh would be the easiest option for me when I'm home because I literally ordered my box to be delivered yesterday. So I arrived home to food on my doorstep. I've just made the most unbelievable lunch. I've made the teriyaki pulled beef bao buns. Look at how they've turned out. Oh my God, this smells. This was insane. I just love HelloFresh. It's so convenient. Like I didn't have to worry about going to buy loads of food when I got home because I already knew my dinner stuff was gonna be downstairs waiting for me. Oh, that's good. They have so many different recipes to choose from and I feel like I find myself making things that I would never normally make, which I love because it really like broadens my horizon when it comes to cooking. And of course, I have got a offer for you guys. So you can use the code KINGS6025. That code is gonna get you 60% off your first box and then 25% off for the next two months plus free desserts for life, which we all love. Now let's have a taste test of this bao bun without it going literally everywhere. Mm. Oh wow, I love myself a bow bun. I'll pop the link down below so you guys can order, but honestly, cannot recommend enough. And now, let's go and open some parcels. The fact you can even see me is a miracle because I've got a silly amount of parcels that I need to open. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through all of them without boring everybody. So I'm just gonna hand pick a few out and we'll just see where we go with this. I actually opened one yesterday because I saw it said it was from Penguin and I was like, hmm, what have they sent me that like couldn't be my book? And they actually got the Sunday Times bestseller list framed for me, which is the cutest thing ever. And it looks so good. Like the way they've got it done looks amazing. And then they sent me this little note and it says, Dear Anna, massive congratulations on being a Sunday Times best-selling author and at number five no less we're all so proud of you you have poured so much hard work and passion into the book and are so deserving of this fantastic achievement lots of love michelle and the rest of your ebri family i am obsessed thank you so much i need to find a place i think i want to put this in my living room though like normally i put everything out in the office but i feel like this needs to be like private place in my living room okay let's start picking out these parcels one thing that i'm not loving is the fact that i've lost my scissors i can't find a pair of scissors anywhere so i need to take a trip to like and it sounds a bit dramatic for ikea because i want to get some new glasses anyway and I need to buy some new scissors. Is that on the agenda for today? Probably not today. I don't know if you want to go to today, but oh, this is. <gasps> Love it. That is my party outfit because White Fox are throwing a party in London on Friday. So that is for that. What do I pick next? I have no idea. Let's just go for this one here and see what this is. Oh my God, I'm going to have so much rubbish after this. I need to keep track of it all in one place so I can just take it down to the bin room. Bigger is better, it says. I wonder who this is from. Oh, this is from Rimmel. Is that Maya Gemma? Maya is looking hot on that box. And then do I pull this out? I think it's new... 
Love it. Oh my god, that's so cool. Thrill Seeker Mascara. Will say the packaging looks awfully like Kylie Cosmetics, but that wand looks unreal. And I love the red of the packaging. That is very gorgeous. Thank you so much, Rimmel. I'm excited to give that a little try. Then let's go for this one here. I love it when these boxes have the little tabs to open. It's so much easier, especially not having any bloody kitchen scissors. I don't know where the hell they are gone. I've lost both pairs as well. This is the weirdest thing ever. Oh, this is from Too Faced. This looks nice. I think all the lipsticks have fell through though. It's their Lady Bold lipstick collection. And I've got six lipsticks in here. Let me just pull them all out. These look really nice. Oh, look at that like berry colour. That was a very me colour from like 2016. It's very nude. Oh, love this. Thank you so much, Too Faced. I'm going to pop those with the mascara. And I've got a load of makeup I can try out. If you do want me to try any of this out on TikTok, by the way, let me know. Then we've got this one here. I've got no idea who this is from. I've had to bring the kitchen knife to open open this with i really need to go into town and get some scissors oh what is this unveil your perfect summer wedding guest look wait what oh it's max factor i was like hang on a minute i'm not going to a wedding thank you so much max factor i think they've just sent me a bunch of their new makeup or maybe like a bunch of their favorites because there's a lot in here there's foundation eyeshadow lip glaze mascara thank you very much i'm gonna take all that out of the box and then i can have a proper look at that once i have opened everything love that I haven't actually really tried much Max Factor makeup, so very excited to give that a try. Which one next? We've got one from Estrid here, and I love Estrid, so let's see what we have got. I literally took my black Estrid razor away with me and then left it in the shower. Very silly of me to do. Oh, what is this? Estrid, the essential exfoliant pre shave, gentle skin prep with avocado oil, lava rock, and hibiscus extract. That sounds lovely. So, an exfoliant, a body lotion and then what is this in here <gasps> shave gel oh my god this is so exciting i honestly love my little shaving routine that i've got going off and i feel like it's about to get so much better and then i think they've actually sent me a new razor in here which i'm going to be so grateful for because like i said my one has just been left in bali which is not ideal <gasps> yay i have a new razor and it is bright pink i love that for me thank you very much estrid i love this color of razor actually i do already have this pink one as well but now i have another one thank you so so much this is slightly overwhelming with the amount of pasta I've got here. So let's do this one next. I think this is from Highly Cosmetics. Yes, it is. <gasps> this never feels real. How on earth do I get sent stuff from Highly Cosmetics? This is the cosmic, oh, I've got a little cosmic rollerball sample of the perfume. That's going to be nice to keep in my handbag. And then I've got, thank God, two new lip liners and the new all oh, lip gloss, Super Kiss Lip Glaze. These look unreal shades as well. How the fuck did that just happen? They look gorgeous shades. I've got a nude one, well, two nude ones, and then a clear one that is just up on the floor. So, thank oh my god, what is happening? Thank you so much, Kylie. Okay, maybe I'll do one more on camera. I've got a big one from PLT here. I have a feeling I know what this is. I think it might be Shannon's new TikTok edit because she is now the creative lead at TikTok, which I am so buzzing for her. Like, that is literally the most insane thing ever. Here we go. Let's open this box. Is it? I don't know. Yes, it is. Two hours she's a creative lead to celebrate the launch of PLTX Shannon Mooney. Shannon wanted to share some of her edit exclusively with you. We hope you love it as much as we do. Love PLT and Shannon. P.S. Don't forget you can shop the whole edit on a TikTok shop. <gasps> the bag oh my god and then i've got some of her edit here this is gonna be so nice look at the little skirt <gasps> oh my god this is so cute and it's gonna be perfect because we're all going to mykonos in like two weeks three weeks and shannon's coming so i'm gonna bring her edit and i'm just gonna pop it on one night and she's gonna be like oh my god you're wearing my edit that is so cute i'm obsessed thank you so much shannon thank you so much plt i am now gonna sit and open the rest of these parcels i might open them on tiktok actually because i feel like i should probably show open them all because there is an actual ridiculous amount once i've done that i thought it would be fun this week to kind of show you what a working day in my life kind of looks like so today i have obviously already started filming this video i I shot an ad obviously before this which you guys would have seen as well and I need to shoot another ad maybe two ads today actually if it has arrived because I'm now looking at these parcels and I don't actually know if it's arrived so I need to open these parcels but this week is going to be filled with a lot of work just a lot of catch up and just a nice little spend the week with me because obviously a lot of my vlogs recently have been traveling and I know a lot of people just much like prefer the homely vlogs so that is what this vlog is going to be a very much work home chilled vlog 
Okay, slight change of plan because everything that I needed for filming my ads hasn't actually arrived. Literally not like one thing for all three ads that I needed to do. So I'm gonna have to do things in a completely different way to what I planned. So I'm gonna go out now and basically this might seem a bit random, but I'm gonna go and buy a work phone, which I understand sounds a bit odd because obviously my phone is just my job. So I just need really one phone, but I didn't think about this when I bought my new phone and I bought the phone with the smallest storage. So I have no phone storage, especially after Bali, literally I can't feel anything on my camera roll without me having to go back and delete things so I just want to buy a separate phone and have that for content and have that for all of my ads and my work stuff and I've wanted to do this for ages because I've spoken to a couple of people who have done it they're like yeah it's literally the best thing I've ever done so I'm about to go and buy a new phone I think I'm going to buy the 15 which means it's going to be better quality for TikTok and for Instagram anyway which is really good and I can film some like YouTube stuff on there as well because it has better camera settings so I'm going to go do that I'm going to go to the Trafford Centre I'm going to go pick well Callum's walking here now and go pick Byron up, so we're all gonna have a little trip over there. Also, gonna go to Sephora. Finally, fingers crossed the queue's not gonna be long because Sephora opened like six weeks ago in Manchester and every single time I've been in the traffic center, the queue is out the door. Like, so I've waited six weeks, so hopefully the queue won't be as long. So I'm gonna go into there, have a little look in Bath and Body Works maybe, and just have a little look around. Just a nice, easy Monday, and then I'll come back and set my work phone up and can plan to do everything else tomorrow. I basically just had to switch around my days, but let's go. We've just popped into Waterstones. Look what I've found in the biography section. Thought it'd be in the romance section, not the biography section, but loving it. The diet is going incredibly, as you can see, but we've just stopped off to get some food. I have, in fact, bought my phone. I got it, I'm very excited. I'm gonna sell it up when I'm back. We just went to KFC, and I haven't had a KFC in ages. So I got my favorite, I got a mega box, which they don't actually write it on the menu, but it's so good, would highly recommend. No secret menu item. They don't write it on the menu. Go and look at KFC, you're looking at me like I'm a Go and look on the menu and it's never wrote anywhere. That's why I said in the queue, I was like, oh, I don't know if they're going to be able to do a mega box, but I want one. A little hat, throw it on. But it's not on the menu. We're in Sephora. Look what I found. These two are taking a out of me because they're saying that I've not wanted them for years. I have. I will she's find. Been looking for them for three years. I have. I will so find videos right. of me saying I want to try these bonds and drops, and I've it's never been able to so. find them. I am very dramatic, but I've finally found them anyway. I'm so excited. <laughs> It's dinner time and I am just cooking up some food. I am making a garlic butter, chilli and honey salmon. I've never made it before so I don't think it's going to be any good. And then I'm also doing sesame roasted veg. So I've put sesame oil, honey, salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion salt in with all of this veg. And this is nearly done now. I'm just melting the butter. I just saw this little recipe on TikTok and it just looked really good. And I'm just going to add in some honey and some chilli flakes. Let's hope for the best. Here it is. This actually has turned out looking very nice. I was going to have avocado but I'm gonna save my avocado for breakfast in the morning, but it looks really good. So let's do a little taste test of this salmon. I hope it's not too garlicky because I did put a full garlic clove in with it. Oh, it's hot. Mm. It's so hot. That's good. Let's do some skincare and have a little chat because my skin right now is really not loving me. And I just, I honestly don't know what's going on. I think this is probably a really good time actually to do a little... PCOS update and before anybody shouts at me I know I probably shouldn't be using a makeup wipe whilst complaining about bad skin but here we are I'm going to use a makeup wipe for ease whilst I talk to you guys my skin recently like I mean you'll be able to see soon I've just been having the most angry breakouts and when I was in Bali I was using the star face spot patches a lot because they were such like red like angry spots like I can't even explain to you how angry these spots are and it's all been in like my hormonal area it's all been along my jawline or on my chin when i was like 16 17 i suffered so bad with my skin i was really open about it on youtube actually like how bad i suffered with it and i literally used to have a little joke to myself that i used to call it my rose garden because my skin was just covered in red spots like it genuinely was horrendous and that kind of cleared up as i went through puberty and then i had really good skin and then i still do have pretty decent skin like it's not bad it just has a lot of scarring and now i've recently started to get a lot of like red angry flare-ups but I think it's a mixture of like traveling but also my PCOS. Acne and like redness and like spots is a really big symptom of PCOS. It's so annoying that my bathroom mirror I have to like go like this to be able to see in it 
acne is like a really big symptom of PCOS and especially like obviously PCOS is a hormonal imbalance so it doesn't really surprise me that I only really get spots in that place but it's just been painful like I don't know what my skin's gonna look like once I've taken all this makeup off I need to have a proper look and assess but yeah I've just been really struggling with it since traveling and it has been annoying me because my skin was so good before I went away but I also think it's gonna be a change of diet as well like I was eating so many different foods out there that I wouldn't normally eat at home so I feel like I kind of have to expect the changes in my skin but PCOS I feel like it has got touch wood a lot better than what it was I feel like I'm really learning to manage my symptoms now like I'm saying this all very much touch wood but I've had three I think it is a, like regular periods in a row coming on pretty much around the same day every month which to have like a three month course of that is like crazy for me that's like really 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 good news and then yeah like my bloating and stuff like I'm so bloated now but it's not painful anymore which is amazing as well because that was one thing I really struggled with it was the painful bloating like I don't care about bloating if it's not painful but when it's painful it's just so uncomfortable and so agonizing and that was the reason I hated it but I've made like small changes like the first one was not drinking as many fizzy drinks and cutting out original coke and I had coke zero like I can't even explain to you it has made the biggest difference to one my body like my body just for me looks better just from making that like tiny little change in my life which is crazy but yeah it's also stopped my bloating a lot like I've had some coke zero today so I feel so bloated right now but it, it doesn't feel painful which is amazing and yeah my symptoms and stuff just haven't been that bad but I think it's kind of started flaring up again in my skin because of my diet and like the change of like water and change of everything I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but I have this like patch here that's really bad and then some here around my nose area oh my god the mascara under my eyes is not cute right now this needs to leave my face so this is my skin obviously i've just been rubbing it so it's gonna be a little red and a little crazy and i feel like i've still got mascara under my eyes but i'm gonna use some of this i bought the t-zone spot zapping gel so i'm just gonna try a little bit of this but actually am i gonna put tanning drops on my face tonight i don't know i want to try them i bought the drunk elephant ones from sephora and i also also bought this actually I bought my Sephora bag. I got this from Superdrug. It's the Garnier Cocoa Butter Hair Food and it smells amazing so I was like I need to pick it up. And then from Sephora I picked up the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops and then a new Mario Badescu Dry and Lotion. I don't actually know if this is any good. Like I hear a lot of people, I don't think I even have cotton buds. So I don't think I can actually even put it on. I can't. So actually I won't be using that. I will be using the T-Zone. But yeah a lot of people have like really mixed reviews about the Dry and Lotion. Let me know your opinion down below because I used to use it all the time. And I just stopped using it because I stopped getting spots so now I don't really know if it's good or not but I bought it so I am going to try it again but what's going on with this oh I knew that was going to happen it's gone everywhere I'm not going to moisturize my skin I'm just gonna what is going on with this why is it not coming out I'm just going to pop some of this I'm just going to pop some of this on my spots oh it's like stinging my spots is that a good sign or is that a bad sign I don't know and we'll see what happens I love putting new little skincare bits to the test I feel like I really want to focus like on my skincare at the moment and just like try and get my skin back to how it was because like I said it's really not bad like to be honest apart from those spots it's actually really good well my hair is crazy but yeah just wanted to give you guys that little PCOS skin update but I'm now going to get into bed we just finished watching love island and there's rumors that uma has left but there was nothing in tonight's episode so i'm going to assume that it's maybe in tomorrow's episode because apparently it's like a shock dumping or something but we also were watching before that the new movie a family affair i think it's called on netflix with zach efron and joey king and it's really good it's one of those like cheesy kind of like acting films but i'm really enjoying it so i'm going to finish watching that in bed i'm just going to leave all of my new skincare here so i can try that tomorrow i need to go and buy some cotton buds but tomorrow is going to be a very exciting work filled day i am I'm recording the podcast tomorrow morning we're back doing it i've had a month off so i'm really excited to catch up with saf on the call and talk to her about barley because we're just doing an episode that's good it completely missed the bin we're doing an episode literally just like catching up which is going to be so nice and then i'm gonna film two ads tomorrow and we're gonna go into town after and edit everything and i also set up my work phone let me show you what it looks like there's literally nothing on it right now because i can't figure out how to set up a new apple id here she is in all of her glory i need to actually change the time because it's like half 10 right now not half two but literally oh hang on this is all that's on my phone i've got instagram and cap cut so i need to finish doing that tomorrow but i'm so happy i love it it's so so nice i love the black because my phone's gold so i thought i'd get a black one but yeah it's lovely i just need to get a case for it so i don't smash it 
Good morning, everyone. God, my hair is crazy. I just finished recording the podcast with Saf. I didn't actually film anything because I've been filming an ad at the same time this morning. It's really hard because I want to try and show you like the behind the scenes of me filming it, but I can't really do that because I'm so focused on filming the actual job that I need to do. But I am filming an ad for TikTok today. So I'm going to go out and go work in a coffee shop and then continue filming the ad whilst I'm in the coffee shop whilst also doing all of my editing. I just feel like I want to get out of the house today, even though I have an office in the house i don't really like working in the house a lot of the time like i just i get distracted really easily and i'll just sit and scroll on my phone so i'd rather go and sit and work in a coffee shop and just have like two three hours of like solid working so that's what i'm gonna do callum's gonna come and meet me as well and he's gonna edit my video whilst i am doing all of my other bits and bobs but yeah i'm excited the podcast went so well we just had a general like catch up episode which was so nice because obviously we haven't recorded for, like a month i think it's been like a month now because obviously i went to bali Zaf was in la so we recorded but we've got another double recording on a Thursday because again both Saf and I are away. Saf's really good at taking the mic with her. I'm not so good at that and I don't have a reason why but we're going to pre-record do four episodes on Thursday so that's going to be fun. That's going to take up the majority of my day but yeah I'm excited for that. I'm going to go and have a productive day now. I'm going to bring you guys along with me. We're going to go to this new coffee shop. I think it's called 92 degrees and I always walk past it but I've never been in. It gives me like you know where the Z well is in London where I always stay in all of my vlogs. It kind of looks similar to like that sort of vibe which is nice morning everyone i again don't remember the last thing that i vlogged i think it was me working yesterday in the coffee shop and i genuinely didn't do anything yesterday other than life admin and work on my laptop so it was pretty pointless me filming anything i came home and made myself a dinner i made myself another hello fresh meal and it was a steak with roast potatoes honey roasted carrot and gravy and it was so good i really craved that like homely cooked meal like a proper like hearty meal and it was 10 10. woke up this morning i had some breakfast i realized when i did my food shop i haven't really done it half sharp like i haven't really bought any breakfast stuff i just ended up buying snacks so i had to make up a random bagel for breakfast this morning i actually had a bagel it was a protein bagel with cheese cucumber and onion which is a bit random because it didn't really taste that good but anyway i am just waiting for byron and callum to come over because we are filming an ad together today which is gonna be really exciting me and byron have both got an ad and then callum is helping us with it so we're gonna do that for it's probably really gonna take us the majority of the day and then i'm going to watch the football tonight which again can't wait for because I haven't watched any of the football this year because obviously I was away in Bali and I'm not going to pretend that I love the football because I don't but I think it's a really good excuse to go out and be social with everyone and go out and have fun and have a drink so I've got to get up really early tomorrow but I was like no I still really want to go so we're going to go to Diecast, me, Callum and Daniela and go and watch the football which is going to be fun but yeah that is the plan for today I also kind of wanted to go to Ikea but I don't know if I'm going to have time now because I'm going to watch the football so I might have to do Ikea tomorrow potentially oh no I'm in London on Friday I can't do it on Friday I I don't know when I'm going to get to go to Ikea now actually. I just want to go and get a load of glasses and a load of new kitchen stuff and like scissors and like organising stuff because I'm in the mood to really organise my flat but then also there's no point me really doing that until I'm officially home in August. So maybe I just save the Ikea trip until August. But I also do want to go to Sainsbury's and see if I can find the crumble cookie dupes because crumble cookies are taking over my life. They're taking over my TikTok. I'm so annoyed at myself for not trying it when I was in LA because I feel like it wasn't a really big thing then. It kind of became a big thing literally the week after I left. But Sainsbury's apparently have some dupes out so I want to go and try those and the Subway footlong cookie. This whole clip was basically me talking about food. And work is done for the day. I have just sat down. I've literally just finished editing. To be honest, it didn't actually take as long as I thought it was going to take to film and edit. It maybe took me like three hours in total for us to do both, which was really, really good going. Fingers crossed the brands love them because I think it's turned out amazing. And I've just finished getting ready. I literally just topped up my makeup. I'm going to go out in the exact same outfit I'm in. I really can't bother to get changed. And I also don't own a football shirt for me to wear. But I just finished getting ready to go and watch the football. It is it down with rain in true manchester style honestly it's meant to be summer like what is actually going on the weather is awful i wanted to show you i ordered two new phone cases for my phone although one of them doesn't actually fit my new phone properly because i didn't intentionally order it for this phone but i just want to show you how cute this is my work phone case it's got one of these built in to the phone case which is amazing also best decision ever buying this phone although what i keep screenshotting random times but literally best decision ever buying this i love it so much the quality 
insane. And then this is my second phone case. How cute is this? It's just nude. And then it came with this like gold pop socket on the phone case. I'm genuinely obsessed with it. I think it's so nice. So yeah, these are my two new phone cases. Loving those. Very excited for football tonight. I'm going to have a little drink, even though I do have to get up really early. So I'm like, oh, I probably shouldn't. But I've been having recently. I don't know if I've said this in a video already, but don't knock it until you try it. Okay. De Serrano cranberry. Because I think in my head, let me just put the camera down. I think in my brain, my brain was like associating alcohol with the taste of vodka because all I would have on a night out is vodka cranberry and you can still taste the vodka in a vodka cranberry like you just can. Whereas in a Disserano and cranberry, you can't taste it. It tastes like a Trey Bakewell. It tastes like just, yeah, just something really cherry. Like it's really, really nice. So I have switched drinks and I don't really get drunk on that drink. She says she's probably gonna have four and be absolutely plastered and then be really hungover for the podcast tomorrow. But that is not gonna happen. I'm limiting myself to two drinks, two drinks at most because I don't even know if it's gonna come home. Loads of people are saying it's not gonna come home. I'm praying with every part of me that it is because I don't wanna be out and everyone be disappointed. Not that it's personally really gonna affect me, but I know that obviously every man in that building is gonna be absolutely devastated and the mood is gonna go, whoo. So for that sake, I really hope you win. football is coming home that was not expected at at all i just got back oh my god it feels so good ow oh my god my lashes stuck to get my lashes off and to wipe my makeup off and i can't wait to get into bed i just had the nicest takeaway ever it was called i feel like i need to catch up on the night it was called like mctuckies i think maybe not i don't know it was in gay village and oh my god it was so good and i got this like chicken strip meal with loads of garlic mayo and it was just exactly what i needed but you honestly can't make this up so go to watch the football we're at die cast we're having drinks like it's so fun it was a really good atmosphere like i've seen it on instagram and it looked so like packed and like kind of rowdy when i looked at it and i was like oh god is this even gonna be like good and it was amazing so we're drinking and stuff it's like one one and it was like two minutes left and we were like oh like they're gonna get extra time we might as well go outside and like beat the rush and get some air so we all go outside and we hear everybody scream we missed the winning goal so we had to run back in for the celebration so i can't believe we paid to go and watch it and we missed the winning goal i can't believe that england actually won so when this video is up oh actually they're playing tonight because this video is going up on sunday so fingers crossed football actually does come home because that was such a cool atmosphere to be in and everyone was just so excited i got drenched in beer so i need to wash my hair tomorrow i would sit and wash it now but honestly i have no energy to do that i just want to lay in bed and watch youtube and watch tiktok and do nothing that was a really fun evening i'm really glad i went out to go and watch it we wanted to go and watch the game on sunday but we're actually going to see megan the stallion which is going to be really fun i'm really excited to see how we're going to see her at the co-op live we literally bought tickets like two days ago and then me and callum were just like oh that's actually kind of annoying that we've bought tickets now and everyone's going to be out watching the football but we said if everybody wins we can just go out after but yeah that was really fun and then tomorrow what we're doing tomorrow i've got four episodes of the podcast tomorrow morning so that's going to be the majority of my day and then we'll go and see if we can find the cookies in sainsbury's because i really want to try and find them so bad they just look insane it's honestly all over my tiktok and i just i'm really craving cookies not right now though because i'm so bloated but in general i've just really been craving cookies anyway i'll see you guys in the morning oh actually no quickly I mean, you're not going to be able to see yet because whoa what do i look like i'm still getting my makeup off but that t-zone spot gel that i used is insane it has cleared up my skin so much i don't know if it's that or just like being able to use like uk water again on my face but it's so much better so love that love t-zone so glad football's coming home and now i'm going to bed look what i've got i just went to sainsbury's it's the next day by the way and i managed to find two of the crumble cookie dupes however i don't know if there's meant to be more but they actually had loads of stuff but it wasn't cookies so i got the fully loaded chocolate and coconut cookie which sounds interesting but this is the one i'm most excited for fully loaded miso white chocolate and fudge cookie oh my god i'm gonna take these home with me and we can try them later but i've just been out filming i've had a very busy day today literally filmed four of the podcast episodes this morning which is a very long morning but it was really fun and then i came out i've just finished filming another main channel video that's going to come very soon well actually i'm like halfway through filming it i need to 
finish that when I get home but I need to make a pit stop at Callum's because I am going to a white fox party in London tomorrow and my skirt is really long so we're having to like take it up but I didn't have time to book in to take it I'm getting a phone call where is my phone it's there I'm going to assume that this actually might be Callum it is Callum one second that was Callum but basically I didn't have time to book in to go to a seamstress or like a I think that is what it's called a seamstress so Callum's doing it for me we ordered some like something tape I actually can't remember what it's called like hemming tape and he's gonna hate me because he said to me to get the safety pins and they didn't have any on Amazon that would arrive in time so I had to get large paper clips so I don't know if this is gonna work but fingers crossed it is we'll pop to Callum to see if he can do my skirt for me Callum is actually a man of many talents he can do everything and apparently he's now a seamstress as well you can't make this up. I drove all the way to Callum's with the wrong Amazon parcel. So now Callum is at my house and we're hemming the skirt. It's such a lovely skirt, but it's just way too long. So this is Callum's first time doing this. <laughs> I thought he'd done it before and he said he actually doesn't know what he's doing, but. No, it's so easy enough. I have hemmed trousers before with this tape. I'm well, this is gonna be handy because I'm gonna hem a lot of my trousers that are too long now. So I'm getting a lesson in textiles. The skirt is hemmed. I actually don't think I can try cookie right now because I'm so stuffed from the video I've just been filming, but the skirt is all fixed and it looks so much better and now i actually need to sit and open more parcels oh do you like this that i've got in my office it's from my book tour and this i could keep it so i've just left it up in here even though it's a bit big because i do need to take it down soon because normally it's in front of the window but it really blocks the light in here but i just went downstairs and picked up a load of more parcels just covering my address so should i open some of them on camera no, actually i'll open one of them because i know what one of them is these are my shoes and something else for tomorrow because i'm doing a very summery look for the white box party so i've got some new red shoes and the earrings aren't actually in there oh the earrings are in the box i was gonna say so i don't have my ears pierced but i found these really gorgeous little red cherry earrings so i'm gonna like snap the cherries off and super glue them to my normal earrings fingers crossed anyway that's the plan and then i ordered some red heels to wear with it because the outfit's got like hints of red in and i didn't know what color to go for so i found these gorgeous like red heels Heels. and like holding up against the outfit I think red was actually the right decision to go down I need to get my handbag out as well but I thought they were really nice and I hate high heels I'm sorry I just can't do it ASOS had the cutest little heels with cherries on as well and it would look so cute but I can't put my feet through that with the amount of time I'm going to be out so I just got some small red ones from Ego but yeah they are perfect need to pack my case now I think I'm actually going to end this vlog here because it's been a lot of talking a lot of rambling and a lot of me saying things I'm going to do that I actually haven't ended up doing because the original plan of this vlog was to show you me working this week and then I realised I actually can't really show you me working because I'm filming and you're going to see the ad anyway so that's good but I will try the cookies I think I'm going to do it on TikTok instead but I've been filming a dessert video all day and I do not want another sweet thing in my belly right now I really don't I want like actual food so yeah this vlog has been a lot of rambling a lot of talking but nevertheless I hope you have enjoyed it I need to pack my suitcase tonight I need to open all these parcels I need to do a lot of laptop work I've got to send a lot of stuff off on my laptop and cook some dinner so thank you so much for watching i really hope you guys have enjoyed if you did please smash a huge thumbs up this is the perfect time to end my vlog because my camera's flashing red i love you all so much and i will see you very soon for our next vlog Mwah. bye